that's right welcome in welcome back folks to the never-ending drama that is notre dame football we're taking nd to the sec baby tyler buckner is going to reunite with tommy boy roll damn tide down there with nick saban unbelievable the news that comes uh, involves notre dame Welcome in, folks. Happy to be here. Happy to have you here on a wild news day. Uh, just broke. Who was it? Bruce Feldman just broke the news. Happy to have you here. Hit subscribe on YouTube if you haven't yet. Give the video a thumbs up. That ups me as well. Notifications on. That way you're learning every time a new episode drops. You don't want to miss it. Twitter, search bar, always Irish rat. Always Irish Inc. Emails always Irish at gmail.com. Audio only anywhere you want me. You can get me the Colin line. Ooh, they're going to be popping. 312 988 15. Fighting Irish Wire. Read about all things Notre Dame. Unbelievable. Okay. So we were in wait and see mode. What's going to happen? Buckner's decision. We knew Alabama was uh, talked about. And uh, a statement came out. He's going to revisit uh, Tommy Boy in Alabama. Now, I don't know where that puts him in, like, position to start or as a backup. I, I do not know enough about Alabama to know that answer. Uh, I know that a lot of their fans did not seem pleased with the quarterback performances in their spring game. So I, I, I imagine that's a part of this. Uh, and then obviously Tommy and Buckner's relationship and their closeness, there's a lot of familiarity there. Um, so on the Alabama end, it's just supremely interesting to me. I, I want to know that dynamic of where Buckner falls on their roster. If if he's not going to be a starter, then that's really interesting and telling to me as far as just how frustrated he had to be at Notre Dame. And it's just like bad luck, bad timing, injury, bad luck, more bad timing. Time to go try something else. Um, and I don't fault Buckner for that. Just like Tommy going to Al Tommy going to Alabama, I said. Sometimes the best thing for these guys is to get out of the shadow of the dome, spread your wings somewhere else with all that extra Notre Dame microscope that comes with being a Notre Dame guy as long as Tommy was and as long as we've all been talking about Buckner and his potential even as a recruit before he even got to Notre Dame. The Notre Dame romanticism dream thing doesn't work out for everybody. Sometimes it just has to happen. So that's on the Alabama side is it's going to be interesting to see where that falls. And it's just the ND to SEC thing is so interesting with everything Kelly has going on. And now everything Alabama has going on, all the Notre Dame ties. It's going to be really interesting to watch this all develop. So we'll see what happens with Tyler. But if he's not the starter there, it tells you a lot about just how frustrated he was at Notre Dame and and felt the need to go try something else. And and I do get it. I don't know that I don't hold it against him. He's been loyal to Notre Dame a long time and it just hasn't worked out. And it's nobody's fault. It just has not worked out. I get it. Now let's move this along. Things just got tough for Notre Dame again. Things just got tough for Notre Dame again. Now Notre Dame finds themselves in a situation just like last year, where if the starter gets hurt, he gets sick, falls down the stairs like Buckner did last year. Any of that happens, Notre Dame screwed. We're in the exact same deja vu nightmare we were in last year. That, that's where we're at. That's where we're at. You better bubble wrap Hartman. Uh, you don't, don't do no water skiing over the summer break. Nothing. You got to protect that guy like you wouldn't believe now. Okay. So that's Notre Dame's really tough dynamic for 23 now is you got to keep that guy upright or it's deja vu. You're screwed all over again. No offense. I, I have no indication Steve Angeli's ready to take the reins. And Kenny Minchie's so young trying to learn everything. I don't feel good about that either. So you better say your Irish prayers that Mr. Hartman stays in one piece or this is going to be a nightmare in back-to-back -back years. Now, that's next year's dynamic. Moving along to 24, now you got a situation there you got to navigate. 
You move it to 24. You would have felt great having Buckner competing with Angeli, competing with a year two Minchie, probably off a red shirt, competing with five-star shiny new car, CJ Carr. That would have been a quarterback fight. Everybody would have loved seeing uh, Buckner with some experience and, and being the older guy, battling with those younger guys that have high elite uh, level ceilings, maybe with Minchie and Carr especially. That would have been a very interesting dynamic, and you would have always felt like you at least had Buckner there. He started games. You've seen some of it. No, not a polished product, but not an unknown. You would have felt good there in that fight, letting Buckner fight it out and see if Carr as a freshman can out-arm him and just be undeniable. That's all dead now. That is all dead now. So now in 24, Notre Dame's in a spot where you got to pray one of them young guys could take the reins right away. CJ Carr's undeniable with that arm. He's going to play right away. You're going to roll with some freshman mistakes, build the team around him, hitch the wagon to him for multiple years, and we grow from there. Or Kenny Minchie, it has that year on Carr, and he's ready to go right away. I don't know where Angeli fits in there. And I think Notre Dame wants to be done with the transfer guy plug for one year deal. And they may be able to not go that way because the upside with Minchie and especially Carr so elite uh, that you feel like moving down the road there, you're in a good spot and, and you can develop him young. Uh, I don't think they want to go that route again with another transfer and kick the can down the road. It'd be ideal for Notre Dame in one of these instances to be able to hitch their wagon to a young elite quarterback and let them all grow together with the young skill talent. And then in a couple of years, you got something really rocking. So I don't believe anybody's really at fault here. Uh, the, the, it's just a frustrating dynamic for everybody. And the Notre Dame, Alabama tie-ins and all this, it just makes it juicier by the minute. It just makes it juicier by the minute. So this is interesting, but Notre Dame's dynamic next year got real nervous real quick. Sam Hartman goes down. It's going to be a big Irish frown. Let me know what you think. Unbelievable. Wild.